and let's uh, go. Let's go play some flipping uh, the Flax Red Iridescence. I was going to do flip side, and then I went, wait, that one's probably going to take a while. Let's do a different map. Rainbow. Besides, we should we should explore the GM lobby. Oh, Kevin Tech Spam. And Kevin Tech Spam wouldn't all, would also be a pretty decent idea. I nope, not nope, nope, nope. That app is cracked, and we are not ready. Not Summit either. Not Dreep. No, no, that's uh, World of Us, isn't it? Or is that Dreep? I have no clue. Nope, we're not doing Solar Express today. Oh, this is Dreep. No, this is Roll the Bass. Ah, oh, there's Fractured. Fractured Iridescence by Explosives and a whole bunch of other people. Ooh! Music by Caterpillar. 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 Wait, okay, I was like, wait, I need to first check behind me. So, Ultra, Chained Ultra, Boosted, ult, Boosted Wave Dash. And if I don't have enough speed, I lose. Wait, is it Boosted Wave Dash Ultra? Oh, fun. Right, <laughs> forgot that I need to get this down every time. <gasps> that feels so good to do an actual map where it's not just a secret and expert. Oh, that one's hard though. Not sure what I'm supposed to do. Maybe a left dash work? Right dash? <laughs> Yeah, right dash might work. Oh! That is a... Wait, do I have to ultra off the top of it? Oh! I like that idea. So I need to build up enough speed. <gasps> oh! Okay, this map's gonna be a card, but... <laughs> really? I failed to extend my uh, hyper. Okay. <laughs> Is there a visual cue for that? Let's actually make sure there's not a visual cue for that. Uh, there's not. Well, uh, there's that kind of that crystal, but I don't think that counts as a visual cue, really. Right, you have to do that, each. Ah! Oh, this is a map where you need to get really tight ultras, apparently. I don't know how this is easy. This is supposed to be easier than, uh... How? Okay, I might have to save state there just to figure out the timing. Because I am... <laughs> Completely unsure of, like, when I should do that. <sighs> also, it feels kind of nice to be back in my own. Oh, is this a bunny hop? Oh, that's a bunny hop. Okay. And then here it's just... Wait. Oh, right. I need to ultra into those. Oh. Oh. Right. That's... The... Yeah, okay. Hello, DVD. 
How you doing? What were you up to? Lumma <laughs> Rip, hello, oh, I know you love me. Hello, DVD, how you all doing? <laughs> Welcome in. <laughs> how are y'all doing? <laughs> I am... This is my second ex... Second Grandmaster. Oh, I didn't get enough. This speed. Just fully finished slash, slash chapter 9. <gasps> GG farewell. That map... That map's a hard one. This is... Uh, well, I can't. Somehow I'm gonna get the, uh, the second ultra was tied up, the first wasn't. Welcome to Grand, this is Grandmaster. This is, uh, well, let's just say Farewell is intermediate. Wait, what am I doing wrong with that ultra? Am I not getting enough? It seems super hard, yeah. Uh, this is what this this map map this uh, map pack has uh, stuff from much easier than farewell uh, beginner beginner goes from one A to two B uh, intermediate is like three B all the way up to farewell difficulty and then well there's then there's uh, advanced expert and now we're in grandmaster this is a green. So like, for a Grandmaster, this is easy. What? I- I was getting so much more speed the first few times. Am I not getting a- t Am I not getting a tiny enough Ultra? On the first one? Ah, yes, I was not getting a tiny enough Ultra on the first one. I was like, why, why am I dying? Oh, that wave that- yeah, they're all ranked green, yellow, red within the difficulties. Like, it ranges from green beginner at 1A to 1A to 3A difficulty, all the way up to cracked grandmaster at ridiculous. Like, I mean, the grandmaster heart side, which is kind of like a summit style challenge with one room per. one room per screen per uh, map in the lobby is the 10th hardest map ever made ah bull of course i didn't get the i got did i not jump high enough or did i jump too i jumped too little i think yeah <laughs> yeah i am not ready for gmhs i mean obviously i have i have this is Two out of eighteen uh, grandmasters. I recently completed uh, expert, which took a uh, hundred hours. Oh, if as long as you don't uh, don't do not go straight to grandmaster. Yeah, like if you go, if you start with like beginner level, beginner and intermediate level mods, stuff like Glyph. Well, Glyph goes to low advanced. Uh, stuff like Glyph. Honestly, I'd recommend SJ because I could actually show, af after this room, I, I might be able to go show you what, how much. Oh yeah, the only reason way you could go straight to Grandmaster and be at all fine is if you've already speedrun the game. And gone, like, good times. Or, if you're like me and you play 100 and... 173 hours of gameplay before you get to here. Okay, really? Why am I not getting... I thought I was better at Chained Ultras. Okay, and that was too tight, apparently. Yeah. Because nothing in vanilla gets the Grandmaster. I really need to go to sleep. It's like two hours past your bedtime. <laughs> go up to bed if you need it. Hope you enjoy Celeste. 
I'm still not getting fast enough speed there. Mew. <laughs> Hello, welcome, Insertia. How you doing? Insertia. I uh, didn't tie that one up enough. <laughs> thanks for the good luck. And thanks for follow. <laughs> Looks at the 23x time. A 23x for full game or just just uh, farewell. I mean, 23x for farewell, especially if you've not done much else before farewell. Can I get full game? Oh, that's okay. DVD's pretty good. Finally! Yeesh. <sighs> that ultra was starting to get a little annoying. Farewell was around was four hours. Wow! I spent three hours alone on comb room because I got mind blocked so hard. <laughs> oh right. The 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 insta break blocks only break if you're going the right speed. Right, that's the gimmick of this level. Oh, I love how chill this music is here. Okay, and you go fast, chain ultra. Um. Okay. I think I'm supposed to chain ultra, grab that one, get boosted up, reverse wave dash ultra, grab that one, boosted wave dash ultra, grab that, boost, uh, grab that. Jump off Ultra. Grab the Pup Jelly. Uh, let's say Back Boost. Back Boost. Wave that Back Boost Ultra. Upright Dash Win. Oh, I didn't know how to do that. I just kept screwing it up and I got mind blocked so bad because I just kept playing it constantly instead of doing it up. Oh, I, I can't time it. I just didn't get the timing right for a while. Oh, right. You have to get the right amount. Oh, this is the... That's... You have to just... Okay, that's gonna be hard. Real, um... Right, okay. Okay, not that much fast. Can I please get keep meaning to stop by? I don't have time to chill today, but I hope you all catch me soon. <laughs> Welcome in, Mood the Mew. <laughs> See you at another time. But also, <laughs> thanks for the follow. Catch you soon. Yeah, <laughs> this is GM. So <laughs> if you're planning on getting this far, this this you won't be here for a while yet. This stuff is hard. <laughs> Why am I doing another ultra? Uh, no. Uh, that was not a good ultra. Okay. Why is it that I'm... I'm... Okay, I'm better at doing, doing ultras if I start with the wave dash. That's irritating. Oh, that's a tight ultra. Ten minutes. Pretty easy to swing, but you probably can't chat. This looks fun. Not like the other, other GM, obviously, seen. Oh, yeah. This is the easiest GM. By a long shot. I mean, depending on what you're good at. If you're good at ultra, get good at ultras, this is pretty good. I think all the GMs look fun, but that's because I... I mean, you can see how long I've spent in just Strawberry Jam on screen. On with the file timer there. Oh, that's... <gasps> oh, do I have the multi-boost? No, I probably not. Oh. Am I too far up? 
Yeah. <laughs> Most of it is expert. <laughs> you have three? I'm supposed to hit grab that. Yeah, okay. Uh, pff, I apparently messed that up. <sighs> yeah, uh, the hard part on this level is that you have to get the right amount of speed. You, you have to get good at ultras. Or else you don't break those blocks. Because if you're not moving it, there's a minimum speed required for each block. They are expert. When you accidentally hold down. Oh, right! You need to not hold down after that ultra. That probably should, could have been a little more obvious. Yeah, ultras are expert. And these chained ultras are GM. This is the first GM map I've had to, I've had to do chained ultras on. I was hoping that. Oh. <laughs> Psychokinetic has no chained ultras, though. If you want to complain about chained ultras, Complex. It has a berry that literally requires a chained ultra. So, Psycho Connect. I, I, I goose. Is this how they're confused? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, I didn't do flip side yet. I, I made the decision that I play a few easier maps first. Is the flip side supposed to be the hardest? Uh, green. Hmm. That chain. That wave dash. That wave dash after the, the, this ultra is hard. Hard, but it's fun. Yeah, that's why I want to play it at some point. Oh, pff, I held down for just a few frames for just a little bit too long. Oh, whatever. New has, has the best mechanic here. This is fractured iridescence. A yeah, it's a new map. You have to actually back boost in this map, but but hear me out. Back boosts are fun. Okay. Am I getting too much speed there? Am I getting too much speed? I might be getting too much speed. Yeah, I was getting too much speed. 
Ah, oh, I need to be holding grab. They might be fun to get any idea what they were yet. Okay, back boost is a technique whereby you grab a holdable and before and you throw the holdable backwards to get a boost. That's why it's a back boost. In this case, it's throwing a jellyfish backwards to get more speed. Uh, they're used uh, unlike us. Uh, I hate it when you can go too fast on an ultra. Yeah. Uh, they're hard to input if on controller. Back, like, back boosts are not controller friendly. Especially, they're not analog friendly specifically. Yeah. Can I stop getting that much? I need to ultra later. That. I don't like it when you have to ultra later. That is so uncomfy. Ah, uh, this for my <laughs> cat teams to cat keep catch you off guard. Guard, yeah. I mean, the other hard one to do is uh, too fast for analog, right? Uh, uh... no, it's back boosts are doable on analog. You just can't. You will. You're guaranteed to lose speed if you're using analog. Oh, wave sooner, okay. Eh. Bit less frustrating. Yeah, same states. Helps a lot. Ah, oh, I didn't hold- I didn't- it wasn't holding grab. I don't know if this is a back boost, but then again... Why not? And it would give me extra speed. <laughs> I am... Ah! Back boost- <laughs> I've only done back boost ultras in a map once, and that was uh, in uh, a map called Ultra Difficult. Which was cracked in SC, and I get why people people say that it would be yellow now, because it's not, like, it's definitely harder than this map. But not a lot. You seem to learn very fast. <laughs> eh, I have a lot of experience. <sighs> and also, a lot of yeah. Oh, yeah, no. YouTube videos of the room doesn't help, though. I didn't get enough speed. I got the back boost. Oh, that's the worst part. Giga long, yeah. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. Eat the videos help because it tells you what you need to do. But, uh, safe state practice makes sure that you have the muscle memory for it. UD rooms are also Vigo Young. Yeah. Room 2, the, the, the second real room, is horrible because it's just jank. Doing it the non strawberry route just feels janky. Because it's, it has the awkwardest chained ultras and the awkwardest movement and the awkwardest camera. It's just. Uh. Room 1, first half. Brilliant movement. Back boosted ultra out 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 of a out of a flipping out of flipping Goltra Ultra. Ah, didn't get the got the back boost, didn't get the ultra. I don't think this is, like, a necessary back boost, but... It's one of those cases where it's, like, may as well. Because it gives me... Some act... Oh, I have to... I have to ultra as soon as I back boost. That's the hard bit here. Yeah. R the second half of room one of you... 
Like, the problem with UD is it has no theming. Like, I wanted more of... More of the first half of room one, not whatever I got. Ah, that is hard. <laughs> I've pra I hit promise the gym is not a good place to learn back boosted ultras because it is a But yeah, UD is not much harder than this. This is... <laughs> I hate the fact that it's not a tight ultra. Yep, back boosted ultra helps. <sighs> Let's see if I can get that a few more times. Oh, pfft. I didn't crouch jump, so I wasn't holding grab. Okay. Ah. But yeah, UD. Uh, the lack of seeming in UD is what doesn't like, gets me. I think Hard the Storm will be probably much more interesting. Might be what I switch to for more casual stuff. Can I? Ah! I've gone just enough speed once, and I don't know what I did. did. I, oh, I, I got it. <laughs> why you can't progress? Uh, eh. It's why I, 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 I mean, it's why I spend less time per room than I you than you would if you. Why? Oh, right. I forgot to. Ah. Uh, right. Oh yeah, twice, twice now. Let's see if we can do it thrice, and then we'll do the room again. Eh, let's actually do the room again because I'm I want to actually do the first half. <sighs> I mean, this map is Ultra the map. We didn't wait long enough. Right, forgot what I'm supposed to do here. But yeah. Oh right, need to get the jump off first. I like these ultras, they're silly. Though I do like it though the mechanic of the doing wrong there. I'm doing something wrong. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. I might have to do another safe state around the room. The interesting thing with crouch jumps is that is it for some reason they don't you don't uncrouch until you're moving down, not until you're moving up. It is I think a weird. It's a it's one of the weirder things about how 
this game is programmed. UD rooms are also getting along. <sighs> Actually, on a completely different thing, what do you think the relative difficulty between HOTS and UD is? Like, which do you think is the harder map? <laughs> I was like, I need to, I need a thing to talk about. I mean, I'll have an, I'll have an opinion of my own. Ultraing soon enough after the back boost? Probably. <sighs> I do like back boosts as. Back boosts are a very good mechanic. Like, I know that they are silly. Well, I managed to reach the final room of farewell today and have finishing stubbornness and reconciliation in one sitting. <gasps> GG. <laughs> GL farewell. <laughs> You're gonna need it. It's a, a, what, 90 second screen? If I'm remembering correctly. Didn't ultra soon enough after the back boost. Yeah, it's nearly two minutes, depending on your strats. Especially if you're... It's even longer if you're going for Moonberry. On the second Gazette checkpoint? Oh. Wait. Oh, right! Because the termination start... Because reconciliation starts with cassettes. You're starting to freaking cry. Yeah. Is there's the, the uh, recon starts with a single room of cassettes. Ha! Ah, I'm not altering. Okay, I actually altered earlier. Yeah, no. Back boost immediately ultra. Oh. Oh, blue and pink only? Yeah, that would be first room of recon. Oh. You need so much speed just for that. Wait. I've been live for 39 minutes, but I only have 13 minutes of in-game. How do I have... Alright, so it's back my first platform. Barely 50 hours was so shocking for you. I should moment the process of what's going on. The music in the room is so generally good. Yeah. Reasonable! 50 hours on it. I mean, yeah. Yeah, but you also... Have... Yeah. I don't know. 130 in SJ? Yeah. Eh. I only... Not getting enough speed. Oh. 
Need chapter 5 and 8 berries. Ooh. So... 167 berries? Just become a flipping cannonball? Yeah, that's basically what you have to do. See, that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the screen when I did that, by the way, which is probably not smart. <laughs> right. But yeah. It's really easy to get too much speed from that ultra. For that, for the, for, because you get the block boost. Oh, yeah, you have to get so much speed. I think that back boost is actually essential if you don't get a good ultra. not have enough speed there! Oh, butthole! <laughs> and maybe chapter 4? Yeah. I basically have Goldens as the only thing I can do in vanilla, besides speedrunning. Unless I really wanted to do, like, a, another playthrough of vanilla. Do, like, a, a really bad casual run. When focusing. Yeah, that's the thing about this, about how I play. I, I rely on having chat here. Flipping an account! I should get task tools for this. <laughs> you know why? Is if I had task tools, I could have, like, this, my, my speed display over me, and I could actually know, like, what horizontal speed I need for that. Nope. It's really easy to accidentally dash the wrong way there. Because you need to make sure that you let go of left before you do the dash. Ah! That is so difficult. Oh, my dash ended before I hit the blocks. I need... Oh! That might be part of it. I need my dash to not end before I... Right, because if you... Because one of the annoying things about dashes, the upright dashes, is you lose all speed unless you uh, cancel your dash. Oh. It's partially due to the fact that focusing doesn't actually help with the inputs when the inputs aren't as muscle memory reliant as they are. So any, uh... Am I...
I'm not getting enough speed out of that back boost. <laughs> But yeah, ugh. <sighs> it's one of those annoying things is that it's easy for me to get mind blocked. Okay, that, hmm. How fast are you meant to go? I might be just, I'm definitely, uh, probably I'm ultraing too late after the back boost. This is my, my best bet. Yeah, I'm probably waiting a few frames. That was not better, that was worse. Flipping back boosted ultra. I don't think know if this is I don't know if this is a necessary back boost, but I might be making this more complicated than it needs to be. No, back boosting would, would definitely improve the amount of speed I have, though. I'm trying to remember exactly how back boosting works. Besides the, the simple throwing it backwards, because I don't remember exactly how much speed it adds. I don't think it's like a, it's a negligible amount. It's not a super high amount, so probably like plus 40. Probably about the same as jumping. Let's see. Wait, I'm back boosting too late! Because, so I'm not getting the back boost. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm... I'm I need to back boost like a few. Try to do input the back boost a few frames earlier. Okay. Like you're meant to do it as late as you, late as you can. That was a little bit better, I think. So yeah, where is the... What am I doing? Yeah. Yeah, I need to do it like... What is a good visual cue for the... I don't have a good problem with visual cues like this. Is it's hard to find a good one. Yeah, nope, no need for back boost. Okay. Let's not do the back boost, considering I can't seem to get the input down, and I don't need it, so it's may as well not. I didn't grab the jelly! I actually got pretty far.
Oh, I, oh, I, I wait. Also, I love the fact that a platform that was helpful earlier gets turned into an obstacle later. You, that you have to go fast enough to avoid. Then you get the ultra. <laughs> I have to do I have to do that ultra that wave dash just a few frames later. Okay, didn't get the, didn't extend that wave, but did get the wave. Ah, it's wave. Interesting. Are there are any any like secrets if you, if you do the right things in this level? I expect that there are. <laughs> too tight. <laughs> Tying that ultra just a little bit too much. And yeah, I think half of why I'm, I've been here this long is just because I was stuck trying to do it with the back boost, despite the fact that the back boost is technically optional. Was I crouched when I did that, or did I just forget to hold grab? Nope, I just forgot to hold grab somehow. That ultra is annoyingly tight. You know, that reminds me of an ultra in Flag 3, where... That I also kept, uh, over-boosting. Basically, what would keep happening... Is that I would, uh, basically... End up, uh... End up going too fast. Why did I dash down? <laughs> but yeah, I just kept getting too much speed from the Ultra on in Flag 3 of EHS. Which was so irritating. Because it's like... Also, I need to make sure I have a reference for how long I've been streaming because uh, I've streamed. This is the second stream I've done today. Also, what did I do for the first so many minutes of this? Right, neat and hot, instantly ultra there. Might need to save state again just to get the actual solution down there. Super reverse wave dash. Uh, oh, reverse wave dash ultra. Uh, ultra again. Grab that. Um, ultra. Ultra on that. Bounce. 
ultra into th ultra into there. Oh, boosted ultra, boosted. Oh, boosted bunny hop to get over to there. Wounce, reverse wave dash. Wounce again. Wounce. Grab that. Dash into that. Boosted wave dash. Wounce. Boosted ultra. A multi boosted ultra. Into a chain. Into fast climb and win. This is a ruin. This is a ruin. Also, this feels so cool. Doing this level. Wait, can I dash down there? Probably shouldn't because that probably wastes a dash. Hmm. Not sure. Let's drink some water. That's not the water bottle, but actually still has water in it. Okay, I've never been required to do a, a reverse hyper. <laughs> and, I think this is like... <gasps> that is so cool! That is a lot of... That is a big... <gasps> that is so much new. That is a lot of new. I just remember that new the action the the original level was the was a advanced level. Oh, why did I save state? I didn't mean to save state. I was trying to pause! No! This is, yeah, this is a good, I like this game. This is a... Oh! Wait, is that the thing? <gasps> That's the, this, this, is, this has the thing from the Flag 3. The, uh... The Ultra... Oh, and then that's the Forward Dash. Oh! I also love this ultra. Oh, I needed to get it boosted. I needed to get that dash boosted a little bit. Also, it's been about an hour since I started stream, so I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back in a few minutes. See you then.
<laughs> this map is really good. That is so cool. This says, do you know all these different setups to go fast? Well... Oh, you have to do. Oh, ho, ho. what does this end that you with? You have to do buffered climb jumps. That's funny <laughs> and mean. <gasps> Wait, you have 172 berries. Yes. Wait, can, can I do the thing from Dark Moon Ruins here? Yes! Okay. Yeah, that works so really well using the thing from Dark Moon Ruins, okay? That is so hard. <laughs> but also 172 berries. Yes. What level still has what, what berries do you have left? Oh right. Three in core. Ah core. I mean, good thing is core doesn't have that many berries. The bad thing is core, the core berries are not. So the, the it's the same thing. Yeah, those ones are not easy to find. Right, I need to extend these dashes. I down dashed. Did I? Did I do that ultra too late, too early? Huh. <laughs> right. Oh, that, oh, that wave dash is gonna be hard. I need to practice from that point on. See if I can get that wave dash a couple times. This has all the hard parts about Flag 3, actually. Except I think easier. So, okay, so it's based on horizontal speed. Whether... <laughs> uh, that Ultra. That up dash is a little bit hard. Well... GL, GL getting GL core berries, core arb. 
I guess technically there's actually one other thing I could try doing in vanilla, which is getting the full clears for each level. Because while I have all the berries, I haven't done all the ba I haven't done all the berries in one run yet for a lot of the levels. Outside of when I did R, of course. Which, R was so, kind of fun, but also took me forever because I didn't, one, I didn't know the route. And two, it's a 175 red berries. What am I thinking? Oh, right. <laughs> What is the like? The, what is the difference? I'm, I'm remembering what the, the 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 question of what is the difference between all achievements and all 100 in this list? This like all achievements, you get one less red berry because you you get moon berry, so you don't need and you only need 175 berries, not all the red berries to get the achievement for red berries. So you just drop whatever the most inconvenient berry is, and you do and you do uh. Pico, and that's it. Like, that's all achievements. Which, eh, there's a reason why 100% is more popular. Because there's no real point in doing a separate all achievements run. If that's the extent of the differences between all achievements and... It's not like uh, Hollow Knight where... Uh, all achievements is just a ridiculous run. Like... Okay, really? How hard is it to get a reverse hyper? Hmm. <laughs> and I forgot that I need to delay that ultra just a frame delay ultra not delay that ultra wait to ultra a few frames like I know that delay is the technically correct word but delayed ultra is a tech which lets you uh, what's the word a uh, delayed ultra is a tank which lets you get ultra speed off of a flat, off of relatively flat ground. Also, my water, I have no water, so my ability to hydrate is not existent, so I'm gonna go fill up my water bottles. I'll be back in a second. Did they switch uh, Cycle Madness from green to from green to yellow? Which, fair enough, it is a lot harder than the other 
the other options. Also, apparently there's three uh, experts that were originally er intended intended for advanced to the point which is feels like uh, ethereal ascension and two others and I'm not sure what the other two Right, need to get that down right. Need to make sure I hold down. I thought I was holding down, but eh, close to not. But yeah, like... And then there's Ca Cave of the Crimson Sky, which instead of being moved up to Expert, was moved to Grandmaster. Probably Hydroshock? There were three. Ethereal Ascension... These were mentioned when uh, Sir Meridian was playing Ethereal Ascension yesterday. Yeah, probably Hydroshock or uh, System and Valve Map Exception. Trying to think of what the third, what the third map would have been. Is they were sure about two of them and didn't remember what the third one was. Were any maps moved? All right, don't grab there. Sleep for yesterday, Simmy and Sleep. What do you beat? I did, didn't beat anything. Did, however, start Ethereal Ascension and made most of most of, made through most of it. Ethereal, Ethereal. Also, we've got we've gotten him. We, he's he's thoroughly someone who likes Ethereal Ascension. So I am going to call that a win? So I think seven hours? Yeah. I think average for farewell is around the same length as just doing the A sides. Usually, so it's like usually eight to ten hours. I don't know where I'm, what my farewell time was. But yeah, I would definitely consider seven hours pretty decent to get to farewell. Right, need to get to the extension. Retry farewell. Uh. Well, I mean. Yeah. I plan on doing farewell golden whenever I get reached. Whenever we reach the sub goal. So if you want me to see me in hell. <laughs> For me, reasonable. I still need- I still think I need more suggestions for the bingo. Should probably double check to see how many suggestions I currently have for bingo. Yes, I'd like to...
Yes, I like to. I want to see. Want to see just how many suggestions I have for the Celeste viewer field bingo. Still, still currently only ten. Okay. And then, of course, exclamation point sub. Right, need to do a chain there. that ending. This actually kind of reminds me of... This reminds me of the parts of... This reminds me of the parts of, uh... live here now. Yes, GG. Hondo. Well, I don't know about Hondo. Depends on what... I, have you done... No, there's no achievement for 202. Doing kind of the same thing. Pico, probably. <sighs> That's what you need to do. Let's do that one more time. Last achievement, probably Pico 8. For you. Considering Pico is an achievement. But yeah, Goldens, no achievement, just pure, uh, pure show off. They're just a show off. You did Pico 8. Let's see. Last steam achievements. Uh, one up? Have you gotten a one up yet? Let's see. But yeah, one up might be the last one. You got one up? Uh, um, computer? Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Have you beaten every seaside yet? And... Have you done Moonberry? Oh yeah, 2C is an easy golden. Oh, Farewell's an achievement as well. BTW. So that might be the last achievement, is beating Farewell. 
Boomberry is an achievement. Farewell is an achievement. thing is, uh, people used to consider Moonberry the only advanced room in the entirety of Vanilla Celeste. Back when you you uh, you used the SC selection. That's no longer true. It would be it would definitely still be advanced. It would still be intermediate in for SC scale, for SJ scale, not SC. Right, forgot to down right there. You're on Recon. <laughs> GL best, best music, best, one of the best vanilla music track. Vanilla tracks. What do you think? Yeah. I should really play, finish up the D sides and into the jungle. I've I have two standalone campaigns that I have I've left unfinished. I love how I was like, I haven't gotten that reverse wait hype. Okay, fine, I got the reverse hyper. <laughs> Mentally. Also, reverse hypers are so good. Uh, well, it is second to last checkpoint. Forgot that I need to wall bounce there somehow. Okay, so my current my current issue is just my lack of memory of this room. Like I don't remember how what to do in like I kind of from remembering what to do in the second half. But yeah. You have recon and then you have farewell. You have acceptance left, <laughs> basically, on the stage of grief. Why did I not keep holding down? Yeah, Recon is really close to the end. I mean, the other good thing about Recon, it is... Is it's the return of a, of a fun mechanic. The jellyfish. Because I don't believe there's any jellyfish between, uh... Between the start of Event Horizon and the end of the Stubbornness. Which is kind of an interesting detail. How the jellyfish disappear for a while. Also, one of the important things about the entire map, about Farewell. A lot of people complain about how, like, during Recon, they don't give you your double bat dash. But the reason they don't is because... Main is, mechan is mechanical, because they're like, well... We don't want to design around wave dashes and double dash. So, instead... 
Oh, I didn't. Oh, I need to dash sooner, maybe? Okay. But yeah. Also, this level is the type of movement that I used to find that basically is nonsense. But now I've like now that I've played Cromplex, Cromplex and Psychokinetic. This is nowhere near as bad. Really, I remember top dash, I just top dashed too early. Didn't ultra soon enough. <laughs> you really need to get your ult that ultra speed or else. Ugh. I just realized it's kind of something kind of interesting. There's a grand total of no new move, no new movement in Vanilla Celeste. Like no levels where you have to go fast. Like like where going fast is the goal, which is kind of an interesting like, which makes sense. Going fast is really hard without, at the very least, expert tech. Ah, oh, dashed way too late. was too low. I was like, why did I die? Oh, right. That, 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 that zipper moves down, moves down slightly. I'm trying to think of anything else, though. Oh, I, the art style on this is kind of cool. It's a crystal cave. Wait. I wonder, is the person who did the tile set for this the same as the person who did the tile set for, uh, Sands of Time? Is this actually aesthetically very- is- seems very similar to Sands of Time. Like, it feels like it's the same style of pixel art. Oh, and I, I be, I'm very careful about saying style of pixel art because, uh, well, very simple. You wouldn't call, uh, like, Nalumbo and Pummer the same style, would you? Or Nalumbo in this level. Even within the greens, like... I don't- I wouldn't call any of them have, as having the same style. And while there are levels that use the van- Like, vanilla assets, I'm very glad that very- that that's a relatively small number. Which makes the- And like, levels that use- like, let's see. I mean, you have Cycle Madness, B-Side. Let's see, in in Grandmaster, you have Cycle Madness, B side, 74, and Summit, I think. Are the only like one one sixth of the maps are are only one sixth of the maps 
use primarily vanilla assets. And like... And only two of- and then out of those, two of them are- only two of them are like actually like based on the vanilla map. Are based on vanilla map. Because like, uh... I mean, Summit is kind of clear but what it's inspired- what it's- what... It's- Summit's just Summit. And, and then Cycle Matter Seaside is just huge mess. Like, that's, that's the, the long and short of a Cycle Madness B-side. Like, there's a few, like, in earlier lobbies, there's, like, a few, like, I think Intermediate has... Intermediate has the Sleeping Under Stars, which is a, uh, Farewell remix. Kinda. But like, eh. The, the... Like, even levels that have the same visual style don't have the same, like, full, complete aesthetic, because it's like, it's, I think, not once does the same music artist work with the same, work on the same level as the same artist and the same deco person and same design, map designer. So, like, two levels with the same deco person will have... similar, like, style of, like, where they might place Deco. Ah, I forgot about the chain there. <laughs> but like, that's with the same Deco person, that's with the same, like, tile artist, will have similar tile sets. But if they have different Deco people, the placement will be completely different. Oh, got too much height. Okay. Well, so I need to go to the bathroom, so I'll be back in just a little bit. Not good break time, but it is a good I need. Also, I was just thinking, like, with regards to the sub goal, it's like, I made the sub goal farewell golden a while ago. Like, back when I, I think when I was still an in intermediate. It's so like, now farewell golden seems a lot more achievable. Versus back then when it was like, well, is this at all a thing that could happen? Or, 
I think at the time I was like, okay. If we do reach the sub goal, uh, this is gonna take months and like a year. Now it's like, you know, I bet I can do it reasonably quick if I'm smart and actually, if I do it the correct way where you actually like learn the map. And do all the all like the pre pre work that you do with the golden. Now does that mean that farewell golden is super feasible? Have any of y'all tried to go for Feral Golden? Ah! Whoa, I got a lot more boost there than I thought I would have. Also, the style of this music definitely does remind... is definitely... a style I've heard before. I, I didn't extend? Okay! Sure. I mean, I'm also playing this af after already playing three hours of a different video game, so it's not like not like it's not like I'm fresh. Though I mean, I did level layer pretty quick, and I was not fresh for lava layer, to, to, to say the least. What I come, I came into lava layer at, like immediately after. Immediately after I beat EHS? Well, okay, not immediately. I did, like, a little bit of gym. And then I went, you know what? I've done this gym before. Okay, wait, what? I got less distance than normal. Interesting. Also, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna what what what, it, what GM map will end up being the one that takes the least amount of time for me to finish. I'm gonna guess Lava Layer stays my fastest GM clear. Right, don't hold grab, I think. How did I end up that far over? Ah, okay. I actually remembered what to do, I just effed it up. Somehow. Oh, okay. Oh, this level is still so cool. I love the lo I love the lo-fi beats. The lo-fi beats to go fast too. I mean, I described Lavalier as the one, the Grandmaster map that any beginner could beat. Whereas this is the one that I would 
suggest for like someone who's actually went. This seems like a much better first than lava layer in many ways. I suppose it depends on whether you are super. Oh, I should neutral. Okay. But it depends on what what you're better at, I suppose. Right, I forgot. Because I was thinking of the f the previous wall. That's why I tried to neutral there when I'm supposed to do neutral climbs. Actually, I'm just remembering one of the more interesting things. I'm fairly certain you can neutral on ice walls even if you are holding climb. Didn't delay the jump enough. <laughs> I still find it funny just how long, like, a GM level can take. <laughs> how big is this map, by the way? I'm guessing it's not that big. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh! This map is a. Like, this map ain't easy. Actually, this map is a very. Uh... Yeah, this map that does have the. Yeah, this map does have kind of that sprinkle on vibe in terms of, like, room length. Which is kind of, I kind of like having, having like, like I don't like, I'm glad that not every map has that. The thing where it's like, oh, each map is like, like I'm very glad that most maps are not three to five rooms anymore. Most rooms, mouse maps have shorter, but more rooms. With like a few exceptions. Uh, this one and Mosaic Garden are the two that I think are the most like, they followed the rubric of the previous one where it's like, yeah, the, these have small numbers of rooms. Lava layer would have been annoying if it had more room, had less rooms, but they were longer. <sighs> and Kevin Tech Spam is re look the rooms in Kevin Tech Spam look so cool. I still kind of am feeling like, wait, how am I in Grandmaster already? When it's like. I've been playing this mod for uh, nearly 200 hours. Like the fact that I'm in Grand, it'll, it's taking me this long is it is almost kind of a, like a lot. Right, me to get that ultra very quickly. Right, need to wait a little bit longer till I'm actually in line with the zipper. The the conveyor, not the zipper. The zipper is the block. It's interesting that they're called zippers. I and mean, it's interesting what all the different blocks are called. Brain you made the same mistake twice in a row, that's hilarious, but how about, how about we 
we dash like a frame, like three, two or three frames later. Also, one of the things I don't like is how many people really don't like, like, Ethereal Ascension. It's like, Ethereal Ascension is such a cool map. It's also, you know, definitely has a, and it has such a strong aesthetic. Though, I'm also the type of person who's like, thoroughly like, did, did they do what they wanted to do? Who, who does who think still thinks of criticism in the terms of what type of criticism is useful to the artist not what is term is useful for to the audience I mean my criticism is useful to the audience basically uh, did I have fun yeah I had fun you're not gonna like it because holdable reasonable Yeah, but like, I like, I kind of like the being like aware of like, oh, this is why I wouldn't like it, and being aware of like why you you specifically dislike something is very useful because it lets you tell people, hey, I didn't like this thing because it did these things. I mean, that's where like being more informed about how to, what thing, how to. Okay, really? If, okay, the last three times I've gone there, I've died like that. Funny. Yeah, it's an interesting holdable. I, yeah, I get not liking holdable maps, honestly. This map technically has the, the occasional holdable, because... I guess jellyfish are common... Though it doesn't use them, like, as holdables, I don't think. I like it because it's holdable. Yeah, reasonable. I'm trying to think of any, uh, any mechanics make that I dislike like that. Eh, don't! I'm not, like, the biggest fan of precision. Anymore. Like, Narrow Hollow. I mean, I enjoyed gra the gra I, I enjoyed the gravity helper maps. Like, that's the thing. <sighs> oh, because holdable. Uh, well then, GL recon because recon's holdables. The return of holdables in in uh, farewell. Also, the fact that someone tried to do farewell with Theo and discovered that like a decent percentage of the rooms were at like a decent percentage of the rooms were actually possible with Theo, which was hilarious. And it's like, doing very well with Theo sounds like hell, just because you have to manage two different holdables at the same time. through this level today. Though, I'm not sure how we've managed to... I suppose part of it might just be that... When there were more people here, I basically did just chatting while on save states. I 
I, I have a strange attitude. I have an interesting attitude towards doing this, where it's like, like, like. I think even the levels I disliked more. Even the levels I dislike more, I still like them because it's more Celeste. <laughs> like, I just like the movement in this game. So it's like, even if it is a, like, a level like Vertigo, I'm like... Wait, where it's like, ah, this is my favorite. It's still like... I still had a good time playing it. Fair enough. <laughs> well, apparently I need, I've needed, so I'm gonna, let's see who we can raid. Hmm. Let's see, is Captain Marina in the nearing end of stream? Let's double check. Seems like she might be. So let's go raid Kersey. Um, can I type? <laughs> He's currently playing 71D, so let's go say G GL 71D. Let's go say good luck, and <laughs> we'll beat this tomorrow. We'll beat this tomorrow after playing a little bit of Dark Moon Ruins. Yeah, bye.